when you come around over here, this is some of the memorabilia. This is the game ball, one of the game balls from the 1990 National Championship game. Washington State, a bunch from Nevada, a couple of Oregon ones, and then uh, this is the uh, couple of the Pac-12 championship uh, rings and the Rose Bowl championship ring. Jin Lee gave me this a long, long time ago, the dive coach here for good luck. I've always kept that everywhere I've ever been. You know, I played a lot of different positions, but this was a run, this was an old running back face mask right there. <laughs> running back linebacker face mask right there. Got a few pride stickers on there. That's though. right, we keep it, we keep it there just so the players get a look at it. And then we always have to have a picture of Coach Ald on the wall in the in the football facility. Yeah, so down here in the corner, we've redone this, got the most recent game up, the corner for the Fremont Cannon. Uh, my career here, this is all the wins in the, in the, uh, in the series. And in my career here, uh, we're 17 and two right now. So uh, on the coaching field against uh, UNLV. So we want to keep this cannon for a while. And then all the hallway stuff, all the, all the Wolfpack records. It's kind of cool to go back and see all the guys that, that hold the records and total tackles, all the defensive trophies. Albert Rossetti played for me, all-time tackle leader to Sean Miles. Some of the guys that I've had a chance to coach, kind of cool to see those still here. The reason we were always on this side of the field is back in the day we played a lot of night games, or excuse me, day games. We play mostly night games now, but on this side of the field, we would bring in teams from all over the country in a lot of warmer weather climates. And by the end of the first quarter in an in a afternoon in Mackey Stadium, that side would be in the shade. So you'd be over here in the sun, which we can feel right now, a beautiful sunny day. They'd be freezing over there in the shade on that side of the field. You know, the 1991 game when we you know, had the biggest comeback in, in NCAA history and fans had left and were up tailgating and over at the Little Waldorf and all of a sudden they start hearing like touchdown on the radio, touchdown, and all of a sudden almost an empty stadium is full again. Everybody came back to the game and watched the biggest comeback and just games like that that went on and on and on throughout those years. Those, those football teams through Coach Alt's coaching and, and the area, never thought they were out of a game. They were gonna win every game. They were never an underdog, no matter who we played. And it didn't matter if Oregon was in here, Cal was in here, UNLV was in here. I mean, every game was a big game in those days. And, and it was just, it's, it's exciting. And I, but this side of the field is where most of us are most comfortable, is where we all grew up and how we coached. Uh, Vitawa, Virgil Green, Mike Bethay, Jeff Nady, all the guys that are with me on this staff, they grew up on this side of the field as I did. So we just, we all feel really comfortable on this side of the stadium. Saturdays, everybody was here. You walk out, you would smell the tailgate, uh, all the food being cooked and the fans and the zonies here. I I've talked to so many coaches that have coached in this stadium on visiting teams and they were just, they couldn't stand to come in here because the zonies were just crazy and the visiting team warmed up right here and they just got just the fans would come early and it, it was just a packed house and it was like the, it was just a place to be and the community was really attached to that football team and those football teams and vice versa so we're trying to bring that back and bring the community back and get them involved in what we do here.